we're actually pulling up to uh, a place where we get to get our work in. And this is what we call the home. In the last few years, we've had six lottery picks and, and 10 guys get drafted, you know, right here. It'd be an opportunity for our guys this year to continue to build off of what we've started. Good time. We're gonna get 10 reps. Here we go. Up and down. Let's go, let's go. Easy money. Guards up, guards we got a shade guard, so let's start working on shading. Turn that corner right now, you're alone on a one-on-one. -on -one. Having a big that talks is gonna make all the difference. So if I'm telling you I'm gonna give you a million dollars if you talk, you're gonna talk, like, let's do it. Conditioning and communication are gonna be your two keys right now to getting drafted. The way the draft is set up is one of the only times where these guys are being looked at as individuals. So I'm gonna put these guys together just like a fight camp where they're pushing each other to perform at a higher level. Back to Jay, go Jay, attack. We have general managers and owners that are putting a lot of money into these guys. Right there, Mel, the rock and pull up. We want them to start understanding that process. That's automatic, Q, every time. Okay, that's how you're gonna get paid. Effort plays, you're gonna get paid. It's you against somebody else, and who's gonna come away with it? It's just like a fight. Currently, I'm 3-0 as a Muay Thai fighter. After playing basketball at Hofstra, I went on to play professionally in Puerto Rico. To prepare in the off seasons, I used Muay Thai for training and started to truly embrace the sport as I learned from world-renowned fighter Cyrus Washington. My body started changing. And my mobility, most importantly. I started seeing my movements on the basketball courts started to become a little bit more explosive or started selling moves better. Once I realized that it was working for me, I knew it would work for my players as well. No, I didn't know too much about it. After my first time doing it, um, I felt pretty good after. Going at a fast speed, kicks and punches. Moving our feet quick. Uh, it definitely helps when you're moving in the post. It's a different way to condition and get yourself in shape. Pull back your hips and drive the knee, drive the knee, drive the knee. Muay Thai really helped me, you know, with my hip mobility and making me a lot more flexible. I think conditioning is the main thing Jay wants us to do. The basketball players were used to doing a lot of running. Here you're doing, you know, squat jumps and bear crawls. It's 12 minutes straight. You have three rounds and there's no resting. Six! <laughs> Relief over rest. We don't need that rest period. Come on, T. In a fight, you're going to get hit. You got to keep going, just like on the court. When you're tired, uh, you just keep moving, um, finding some, some way and somehow to uh, keep going. Fighter mentality for us is having you know, the fortitude to fight through times where maybe you're feeling tired. This is your 10th workout of the week. Are you going to continue to be consistent with your effort and your mentality? He loves coming in here and being able to impart his knowledge of what 
it took him to, to get to a successful level with the Orlando Magic. If, if, if you take one dribble, you take off, shoot the jump. These young guys coming into the draft, this is an important time for them, so I want, you know, I know I made my dream come true, I want their dream to come true also. He's been in the league for three years now. He struggled his first year over in Milwaukee, you know, getting playing time, and uh, he persevered, kept uh, working at it, staying ready. So he loves coming in here and competing. Yeah, every time you come in, you gotta be a pit bull. You gotta be hungry. Game time. That's game. So the NBA draft is my appetizer. Cut. Good. We was going back and forth. He obviously gave me a lot of buckets, but it was good getting to go up against him. I learned a lot of things to work on and get better at. Just keep being aggressive and assertive. We want guys to do well in the draft, and more importantly, we want them to become better pros when they leave here. Yeah, just read and react. Yeah, come on, stay with that hard cross, hard cross. Tobias, Kemba, who were part of that first draft class, uh, entering their fourth season and really inclining. Kemba embodies everything that we talk about in terms of the fighter mentality coming off of that run at UConn, winning the national title, and then going to the Bobcats. From a team standpoint, one of the worst seasons in the history of the NBA. I think it was something that really ate him up. Jay says it's best, you know, rep your work. And, um, it's all about what you do when no one is around. How hard are you working to outplay your opponent? For my whole career, I've been you know, working hard to get to where I'm at today. Yeah. Jay has a lot of drills, man. Everyone does their own thing. That's our thing. Something that, that we've done over the course of time, just like trainers have done, uh, from Mayweather to Mayweather, being able to dissect and figure out patterns and then make it fluid. I had to step my game up and, and really become a better trainer because each summer he was looking for something else to challenge him. So you got this here. Boom. Hit. The way I play, creating my own shot, you know, creating separation. That's what Jay, you know, really got me good at. My work is, is being rep, you know, because I, I've been working extremely hard. <coughs> so those draftees, they're excited, you know, but at the same time, a little nervous. Working harder than they ever worked in their lives. Trying to hear their name on draft night. Kemba, Tobias, those guys now are looking at our program. Jordan Clarkson to Tyler Ennis and saying, how are they looking? And where do you see them going? We want these guys to realize that you're a part of something special. You're part of a team. We're looking to each other to say, okay, he topped this in a competitive kind of way. I think that elevates everybody in the program. As you turn, keep it on that left shoulder. You know what I mean? That, that's where it's gonna get stripped. Don't get stripped in these workouts by, by, by showing the line. Yeah, good move, good job. This place has helped see guys through their journey, you know, and it's kind of the transition from, from one thing to the next. Get here, get your balance, and then you got the fade. I'm very excited. This has always been a dream of mine to play in the NBA. Whoever picks me, I'll, I'll be happy with. Um, I'll just go in there from day one, work hard, and try to get my game better. Same shot every time. Let's go. Your guys' work is done. Last time to perform. The militias are having their own show tonight. It's just a great way for us as a team here at Pro Hoops to, to support militia. These guys are going to see firsthand what it means to get through a fight. Once the bell rings, that's a surreal moment. Now everything amps up. Maybe you get stunned with something. You start seeing the fatigue settle in. 
a look that these guys have to try to survive and win the fight. constantly talking about the death fighter mentality and what that mentality means to us as people in the basketball industry. It's hard to keep fighting and it's easy to quit. This night has become an annual gathering for our family to get together, we really just support our guys. A lot of these guys are getting to know the kids and they become an integral part of everything that we do. Noah's got a good chance, you know, to, to be in this top ten, so we're just waiting for his name to be called. At this point, it's just a waiting game. With the ninth pick in the 2014 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Hornets select Noah... Yeah. Wow, it's Kemba. Nice. Kemba just uh, tweeted that uh, he's excited to have Noah in, in uh, Charlotte. They got this Charlotte starter jacket on Noah already. Seeing these guys finally get their names called, uh, it, it means everything to us. Tonight, it was great to watch guys' dreams come true. But not everyone was drafted. What I tell them is, this is a part of your journey. Because not everyone takes the same path to success. Stay with it. But I know they will all keep fighting for what they want. Thank you.